<laughs> How's it going, everybody? It's Spandier in Northwest Fight Scene. I'm sitting here with pro fighter Shorty the Pitbull Weichel. Just made weight, about to face Jason Georgiana here at Springfield Throwdown 2, Springfield, Oregon. You're an up and comer, man. You're beating everybody, you're catching belts. Now you got a seasoned veteran to fight tomorrow night. How do you guys think you guys match up? How do you think you match up better? And uh, talk about your fight tomorrow night with Jason. Well, like you said, Jason is a veteran of the cage. He has a lot of experience. If you look at his record, he's been doing it for over 20 years. You know, I've been, if you took all the time I spent in the gym, I've got maybe three months into it, and yet I'm still beating people that have 20 years experience and going after belts. I think it's gonna be a very explosive fight. It's gonna be a war all the way till the end, whether we finish it in the first or it goes all five rounds. It's going to be hard to say. Jason's going to want to stand up and bang with me because he feels like I swing wide and breathe easy. Or not breathe easy, I guess gas easy. And I've trained a lot differently for this one, so I have a couple surprises for him. And uh, I'll be excited to show you, case you guys what I've been doing recently down at Midtown. Now, you train with Midtown MMA, really good team. Uh, talk about your training and preparation for this fight. My prep for this fight, uh, actually, I started like a month ago. I was going to fight Jason, and they called me up about three weeks ago and asked me if I'd fill in for a fight for another belt. So I came off that fight on a win for a belt, took a week off, and so these last two weeks I've been training hard. Did a little ground game, worked more my stand-up because I felt he had the edge there. I feel I have the edge on the ground. I'm a lot stronger. He's a 35-pound fighter. I'm a 45-pound fighter that cuts from 60, so I think I'll have the advantage in strength and wrestling. My ability has neutralized people with jits. So I think he might have the advantage standing up, but when it goes to the ground, I'll have the advantage. So what's the Pitbull's prediction for tomorrow night? I'm going to take him, take his arm home with me. Awesome. Well, uh, tomorrow night might take the arm home. Uh, there have been some other rumors about you possibly leaving and taking off to another camp. What's that, what's that rumor mill about? Uh, I got approached by a very nice gym. Um, Greg Jackson's gym down in Albuquerque, New Mexico invited me down there to come in and try and train with them when Clay Guida, Melvin Gillard, and a couple other guys are down there. Um, if you all don't know what it's about, just go online and look up Greg Jackson's gym down in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And, uh, I hope to be moving there. We're going to go down and trial it for three weeks in February, see how it goes, and then uh, we'll go from there. Awesome. Well, hope, hopefully you'll be taking a new arm with you. Uh, anybody you'd like to thank for this training and this fight tomorrow with Jason? Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Bully Gang Pitbulls. They have purebred pits. I'd like to thank Midtown MMA, uh, of course, Northwest Fight Scene for putting on the show, Art of War, and Jason for stepping up to the challenge. Hope he gives me my second belt. Well, hey, thanks. Yeah. Always loving repping Northwest Fight Scene. Thanks for talking with us, and uh, we appreciate it. Good luck on your fight tomorrow night. Thanks.